Okay, well now we're going to put the vinyl top on. What I did is just laid it over the top just to get it in the general position of where it's going to be. The next thing I have to do is center it and make sure that there's enough on the back and also well the sides will fit. The sides are have more than enough but I have to make sure there's enough here so when I overlap it so I'll pull it forward a little bit and just make sure because I have to it has to it has to go under here and go under these clips so there's enough there so we'll start by measuring this off and I'm going to tape it down with duct tape so it stays in one position Okay, to try to center this so I just from the rain gutter I measured five and seven eighths a little mark that lines up with this stitching so now I went and did the other side so I'll do the same thing here from the rain gutter it's five and seven eighths that's exactly where the stitching goes. So basically, the front line here, this guy to seam, is going to be equal distance from both sides. Now I have to do the back. So I struggle with a reference point, but I picked this point right here. I measured 17 inches over, marked it falls on that crease. I did exactly the same thing on this side. Measured from here over 17 inches. Made a little mark and there it is it falls right on that crease. So basically the seam is equal on both sides. So now the next thing is I'm going to pull this all down. I'm going to take duct tape and tape it in certain sections so it doesn't move. Then I can fold it over, apply the contact cement, and at least get it going. We'll do section by section. Okay, so we have the top on, it's all centered, fold it over, taped it off a little bit so it don't get on the windows. Now I'm gonna put about about so four inches here, maybe four inches here. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so the can says wait four to thirty minutes it'll get tacky and then we'll roll it over in place. So let's just wait now. Okay, so it's tacky. So let's just move it over nice and easily. Okay, so I folded it all back, and now I'm going to do from this point here up to the seam. Same thing here on front.
Okay, now we'll just let that dry. Okay, now this is a little tacky. So let's roll more over here. Not sharp. Just bend it over enough so you can push it down against the top. So down to the bottom.
anger here. So we just have to keep on working this in. Now we'll just cut off some excess material. Make sure when you cut off excess material, you don't need any more. It doesn't come back. Just have to push that in there. We got some extra, so make sure don't cut it all off. There's no coming back. I'm going to leave about an inch overlap because I don't have the chrome yet. Okay, this seems tacky. Here's my little tool here. It's a harder part because it's where the seam is. careful. Once you cut it off, it's gone. So it's better to cut it and cut it again. Okay, now that this is all glued on here, it's just a single edge razor blade when you can't find your box cutter.
And we'll just trim this off. Cut all this off. We'll pull all of this under. And we'll trim all this off. There you go. Okay, let's finish this side here. We got this on. I'll fold it over, I'll glue it on. Now we have some excess and I want to take all that off. So I'll just start anywhere here. So we press that in. Just cut off the extra. Remember, we can always cut more off later on, so just be careful how much you cut. Cut these little tabs here. one. Okay, so we have to clean. Let me see this. We have to clean the area around here to make sure that when we put the vinyl top on, we can still put these clips through here and they go all the way down. Okay. So it looks like they all work. So now we can put some glue on here. We need to put a little spray on this part here. Mast it off so I wouldn't get it all over. Okay, now we just have to let that dry and we'll just push that right into place and put those clips right over top and we're done. Okay, now that it's tacky, let's just fold it right over. Push it all the way through. Now we'll just put the clips in. Oh, perfect. Here's the first clip. There's the second one. So basically what happens is just that little post rides right up top here. This other little piece here clips it into position. There, it's all the way down. All clipped in. Okay, see what I'm doing here along the front is pushing it down. Cutting off the excess. So like I said before, make sure you don't cut off too much excess. Because it's not coming back. I'm 
cutting little holes here. For the little pins to come through that hold all the chrome on or the chrome clips. It's a little harder here because this is where the seam is. That's okay. Just take your time. Okay, just make sure everything fits perfect before you put the spray on. So it all fits in here. Let me do a little farther out over there and I'll put some for the contact cement. Then we'll come back and put all this in place and put the clips in. And then we'll move over to the other side. Okay, I have this all taped off because I don't want to make a mess. So I'm just going to spray on the underside. Okay, now I'll go do the other side. Okay, it's tacky now. So let's uh, start from the center and push this down a little bit. And make sure the material comes through the little studs here so that we can put our clips on. So make sure we roll this over. Roll it over again. I don't know if you can see this, but... Just a little bit excess, but it's okay. Always cut that off versus not having enough. That fits perfect right in that corner. Oh my god. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is put this little screw, metal screw, and washer right in here. I'll put them in a couple spots just to make sure that's locked down. Since I just put this top on, I'm going to put this drill in reverse until it punches a hole in the material and then I can drill a hole. Without wrecking the material. I'll put a little dab of silicone on there. There, tighten that down. That'll hold that. Now let me do another one. Do the same thing. Backwards. So we until we go through the material. Okay, take a little dab of silicone, put it on there. Get a little screw and washer. Now remember, the glass is closed, so be careful.
Then I'll just put a couple more in and that'll be it. So we'll just finish these up. Dab of silicone. Okay. Now we'll put the clips in. When you look at the clip here, this is where it's going to end up, the stud. So we're going to stick this down there. And this little lip here catches it. So it just goes down. Careful so you don't hurt the window. Okay, so that's that one. One down. That was easy. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, and we'll do all the rest of them, and that'll help hold that in place while it dries.